Now that we know how to differentiate logarithms, we have a actually very important new tool called logarithmic differentiation. Logarithmic differentiation is a way of differentiating expressions of functions that we previously could not. This example right here is one that we actually have no rules to differentiate. You might be thinking I could use something like the power rule, though very importantly, the power rule uses stuff like this, where the n or the exponent is a constant. In this case, our exponent is a variable expression, not a constant, so we cannot use the power rule. You might also be thinking we just found out how to derive exponentials, but in exponentials we have the same issue. The base of an exponential needs to be a constant. So unfortunately, we can't use the power rule like we do on polynomial expressions, and we can't treat this as an exponential because the base and the exponent are both variable. In this case, we'll have to use logarithmic differentiation, and we'll introduce that right now. In order to perform logarithmic differentiation, what we're going to do is apply the natural log to both sides of this equation. And while at first it might seem like, well, why do we unnecessarily add in some more complication here? What we're going to do is apply the property of, of logarithms that says if we have the logarithm of something with an exponent, we can bring that exponent out front. So I'm going to rewrite the right hand side of this as the cosine of x times the natural log of x. That right there, honestly, is pretty much the trickiest part of the logarithmic differentiation. Again, all I'm doing is applying the natural log to both sides of this equation and I'm using the property here that I can bring that exponent down and put it out front. The reason I am doing that is now each of these factors or all these terms, I have rules to differentiate. Okay, now I apply the derivative with respect to x to both sides. Um, here, the natural log of y, I'm going to need to use the chain rule on this. y is a function of x. So the first step would be 1 over x, or in this case, 1 over y, because it's my inside function. Then I'm going to multiply by the derivative of y, which is simply dy dx. Then when I differentiate this right side, I'm going to have to use the product rule. So in this case right here, I get the cosine of x. The derivative of that is negative sine of x. Multiply that by the natural log of x. In the second term, I'm going to take the derivative of the natural log, which is 1 over x, and multiply it by the cosine of x. At this point, I'm almost there. Um, all I have to do is multiply both sides by y now to get dy dx by itself, or y prime. So when I multiply both sides by y, I get dy dx equals y times negative sine of x, natural log of x, plus, let's write this as the cosine of x over x. That's really almost all of the work, though you might note what we want to do, if we can, is to write this expression for y prime or dy dx in terms of just x. And actually we can. We know that y is equal to x cosine of x. So all I'm going to do for this last step is I'm going to rewrite this, but instead of y, I'm going to replace it with x raised to the cosine of x. Give me for a final answer, I have dy dx or y prime, since they asked me to find y prime, equals x cosine of x times all of this jazz minus sine of x natural log of x plus cosine of x over x. Now I have my y prime or my first derivative all in terms of x. Quick recap. In this case, we use logarithmic differentiation because we don't have a set of derivative rules that tell us how to differentiate an expression that has a variable in the base and the exponent. We apply the natural log to both sides. The reason for that is the move that we get over here. We can take this exponent right here and write it as a factor out front of the natural log. Then when I take the derivative, the trickiest part, I think, is actually what's happening right here. Remember, this is the chain rule. When I find the derivative with respect to x of a natural log of y, I differentiate around y or with respect to y. In this case, that's 1 over y. Then I multiply by the derivative of the inside function, which is y in this case. That gives me my y prime or my dy dx. On the right-hand side, because I've written this as multiplication, I have to use the product rule to get these two terms. Finally, at the end, 
If I have my expression with x's and y's, I'm going to try my hardest to replace the expressions that have y with something equivalent. By the way, I'll always be able to do that if this is written in this way right here, where y equals some jazz with respect to x. I simply just replace y with this expression right here, getting my final simplified derivative.